Hey there, I'm Dr. Lakeisha Simmons, and I know by now you've heard my story, so I won't go into the big spill, but today I wanted to talk to you about divorce. What does it really cost you? Now, you've heard all the statistics, you know uh, 50% of marriages end in divorce or cost $20,000, $50,000 to get a divorce. Yeah, those numbers can be pretty big, but what I want you to think about more so is the emotional side. The emotional toll is going to take on you, potentially on your children if you have them, and other family members. So let's jump right into this because this is a really important topic. So first I want to share with you the most impactful moment in my divorce, which was... New Year's Eve 2016 and I remember being in the home the family home alone the children were with their father who also then became a single parent right single dad and I remember being in that room alone the whole house was pitch black and I thought to myself wow I thought I had made it I thought I had the perfect life the cars the house the travel i thought i had everything but what i realized is that family is everything right and so going through the divorce going through the struggles sending the children back and forth the money with the lawyers fighting about this house that house this car that car whatever you may be dealing with in your relationship it's tough. It's an emotional toll. So I wrote down a few things I wanted to be sure to share with you if you're going through this because I get so many women who are suffering in silence and they think that there's no hope for them. They think that maybe no one else is going to want them again, especially if they have children or they think that they're in financial ruin now. Uh, they Many of them hadn't even been taking care of the family finances. So... Now they don't even know how to budget. They don't know if they can sustain the lifestyle, if they need to move. So many things, so many things. So I want to be sure to cover a few things here today. So number one, I am pro-marriage, okay? Uh, I definitely want people to try to work it out. I want you to do everything you can to keep your marriage together. I want you to realize that nobody's perfect. You're not perfect. Your spouse is not perfect. But I want you to really, really work as hard as you can so that when you do walk away, you can say to yourself, I tried everything possible. I did everything I could and I just didn't know what else to do. Then you can walk away with a good conscience. You know, you've prayed about it. You've gone to counseling. You've taken advice. You've manifested. <laughs> you have tried to talk until you were blue in the face. I want you to try everything but once you get to that point that you cannot i want you to know that you're going to be okay that god still has a plan with for you god still loves you i don't want you thinking i don't want you being shameful i know i was very shameful of going through a divorce that was very very tough for me so i want to make sure that you know that you're going to be okay whatever path God sets you on, everything is going to work out okay. All right. Let's see. All right. So we talked about the divorce cost and it can be very expensive financially, but emotionally, I want you to think about the trauma that it can potentially cause for you and you'll deal with this trauma for years to come. And so will your children. Now, family members, I want to dig into this one a little bit. I think that if your family truly bonded with you and your spouse, and if you had children, I think it's going to be really tough for them to see you go through this divorce. However, if your child, if you don't have children, and let's say you weren't married very long, you may find that your family is just like, okay, <laughs> and it is not even a real big deal for them. So it's, it's really hard for me to say how hard this will be on your family but nonetheless is going to be hard on you 
all right it's, even if you want the divorce let me be clear about that even if you feel like you're the person leading the charge on no we've got to get divorced you're still going to go through this emotional trauma don't think that all of a sudden you know you're just going to be happy and everything is going to be great you will still mourn the loss of that relationship and it's important to get the therapy or the help or talk it through so that you can heal from whatever the issues were all right and let's definitely talk about the financial side right so the legalities are immense <laughs> having a marriage in the united states is a pretty big legal deal and you have to go through courts you have to have attorneys maybe mediators but i also want you to understand that when you finalize a divorce that's not the end of it especially well if you have children if you, if you don't have children you likely can walk away and that's the end of it but you uh, obviously you always still have those feelings for the person but if you have children it's way more difficult because as those children grow and change, you may have to go back to a mediator. You may have to go back to court if you can't agree on certain things to get those things worked out. So there again, more expenses. Let's talk about picking up and starting over after your divorce. This is a hard one because if you're in a two income household, and then you change and you both have to go get your own place you have to pick up and start over who gets the dishes who gets the tvs right so then there's expenses there that you may not have thought about even just the process of moving is very emotional for the person moving out and then if you sell the house that's very emotional so there's so many pieces of trauma that i think people overlook before they get divorced and, or before they do something that causes the divorce, right? So before you just make a mistake or make a mistake or do something intentionally that could land you in a divorce courtroom, really, really think about all the potential repercussions down the road because it's not just, oh, I'm sorry, forgive me. Sometimes you can do things that aren't easily forgiven, right? Think about your counseling expense. If you're married, maybe you're not considering divorce, but if you're married, please take this piece of advice. And you know, I don't usually give advice. <laughs> I will say what I did or here are some options, but this advice, this is real advice. Stay in counseling. Even if you think everything is great, if you ask your partner, hey, how are you feeling? What's going on? And they say, oh, everything's great. Well, Let's go to counseling anyway. Even if everything's great, let's make it better. Go to counseling because there are typically things that you may not want to say to your partner simply because you don't want to hurt their feelings. But that doesn't fix it. And there's only so much overlooking you can do. So go to a counselor. Okay, now, I know that going through a divorce causes a lot of emotions because I've been there. I know many people who have been there. Sometimes you'll ask, why? Why can't we work it out? Or you'll ask, why did you do this? Why did you do that? And I want you to not ask the why question. <laughs> Here's the reason. The answer is not going to make sense. No matter how many times you ask your partner, your spouse, why did you do this? Why did you do that? Why couldn't you? Why, why, why? And they give you a response and you'll say, well, because of this. Oh, what, what, what? It's not going to make sense. Don't torture yourself. You're only meant to go through that pain of whatever it was one time. The more you ask about it, the more you ask why, the more you try to get an understanding, the more you're torturing yourself. So go to counseling, try to move forward as best you can. Think about what are the possible solutions that you can do to move forward, if you can move forward, okay? Now, one point I want to leave you with as I wrap up this video is please stop worrying. Don't worry yourself sick. Don't worry yourself to death. Because if you are a person of faith and if you believe in God, you have to stop worrying. Because you cannot worry yourself sick 
and trust God at the same time. I want to say that again. You cannot trust God and what God has for you and that God is going to take care of you if you're worried and you're worrying yourself sick. You can't do both things at once. Both things in this situation cannot be true. My counselor always says, well, two things can be true. Not in this instant. You cannot be worried and trust God at the same time. All right. So I hope this video just helps you think about more than just the financial cost. Yes, you're going to pay five figures in expenses going through a divorce, but you're going to pay way more than that emotionally. So it's important for you to get the help that you need emotionally, spiritually. You know, I have a spiritual counselor. I have a therapist. <laughs> I, uh, spa, spa days, you know, there's plenty of things that I have to do to take care of myself. And I want you to do the same thing if you're going through a divorce. If you do need support with the finances, I'm here to help you. I'm here to support you. I want you to know that you're not alone. And many of the women that I help, many of the women that are in my Wealthy Achiever Mastermind have gone through a divorce or are currently going through a divorce. You are not alone. Just because on social media, it looks like everybody's so happy all the time. That's not always the case. People are suffering and many times suffering in silence. You don't have to do that. Let's talk about your finances. Let's get you on a great value-based budget that's really easy to manage, manage your day-to-day -day expenses, that will help you as you're moving forward, know where you need to be focusing your money to rebuild, rebuild that emergency fund, rebuild your savings account, maybe prepare for a new place to live or a new house. Get that investment plan going for your children's college, for your retirement. I want you to start thinking about these things. Even if you have the one income, there's so much you can do after my divorce, as tough as that time was, I got really serious about my finances. And within four years, I had accumulated $750,000. No day trading. And while I was still working full time. All right. So it can be done. You just have to know how to do it. All right. So let's do it together. I want you to consider joining the Wealthy Achiever Mastermind. It is a great place to be. We have a great group of women and our next cohort is coming up soon. So reach out to me and let's talk soon.